Fuck. I went from zero to three okay. <laughs> about not believing the moon landing. Oh, <laughs> but uh -huh. there's a number of conspiracy theories that come up on this show. Menace oh, is a big yeah. fan of conspiracy theories. I'm fascinated by them. But if I had to ask you this question, uh, I'm going to give you a few minutes to think about it, and then you can call in or text in. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but <laughs> what, which one to you is the most probable? Okay. Most real? Yeah. You think? Which one's the most probable? I forget what I said last week. I'm like, man, was it uh, had something? Oh, was the movie? Oh, well, right? you don't believe in the Michael Jackson accusers? <laughs> no, right. not, not that. that. That's not an official conspiracy. That's yeah. not a conspiracy. No, not that. I was. There was something about like. I thought we were talking uh, about the moon landing as well. Well, we, we were yeah. talking about it. We talk about so many of these stupid true. things. <laughs> was it the JFK yeah. assassination? It'll, that's it'll one come back that to I, me. I believe that a lot more people were involved in that than what. Than has a lone been told. gunman. Yeah. yeah. Now this is going to be helpful. For you fellows out there, this is how to deal with an angry woman. Okay, now this guy probably could have, uh, he could have benefited from this. But according to psychologists, these are the magic words to calm any angry woman. Ooh, I want to know. Ooh. Okay. I want to guess. Okay. Go ahead and guess. guess. You have to use the, you have to start with I feel. Nope. Mm -hmm. Really? I, I hear I, you. About, yeah. I, I understand. understand. No. Nope. I don't say I anything. No oh, I statements. Ew. Well, there oh. there is one. Well, there's a, You're right. You're right. Okay. Right. Okay. But also. <laughs> you're right, but. You're right, but you're crazy. So you're yeah. right is one. These are legit. These are legit uh, suggestions from these psychologists and how magic words that will calm any woman. You're right. Yes, I agree. Okay. Not but. Right. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you're being. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're, you're being, being psychotic. Yeah. They say uh, nothing disarms an angry woman faster than taking her side. So find something, anything to agree on. Or, now this is what I do. You just grab her by her shoulders. You get nose to nose. And you look her dead in the eyes and you order her to calm down. <laughs> that should I mean, work. That's yeah. easiest. One. You are going to calm down. Tell her you're, she's being hysterical. You will <laughs> calm down. You're being irrational. Yeah. You are being irrational. <laughs> calm down. Down. Bitch, you're being crazy right you're now. Acting like your mom. But really, though, who cares? She's an adult. She can figure out how to get over it and calm herself down. You don't need the tiptoe. Yeah. I hate that. I yeah. hate that stuff so much. The tiptoe. Well, you're just gonna the say wife? you're sorry, and then you're gonna apologize again, and then you're gonna get her flowers and you're, like And sleep on the yeah. couch. Or and, what? And well, six months when she brings <laughs> it up again. Right. I say, like, yeah, or what? Uh yeah. Uh no, no what's, loving. Yeah, what, yeah, if I don't do that, what's the consequence? This is, a, this is another yeah. adult. You're having a disagreement. You can both figure out, both you and her can figure out how to get over it. But she's a woman. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's equal, right? Not, I'll figure it out. You figure it out. Not when I want special treatment. We're not. See, Beth, yeah. this is not feminism coming Right. I'm not, I'm not hearing that from well, you. The, what I'm well, talking, I, don't, I don't claim to be a feminist. Well, I'll this I mean, I'll say I've never understood the flowers thing, to be honest. It solves nothing. Like as I an apology? Yeah. Like it's like, oh, well, they brought me flowers well, and everything's solves, fine. Yeah. Like, I, no, don't bring me flowers. That solves nothing the same way a forced apology solves nothing. I don't, I've never understood. Right. And mm. I, you know, people, yeah, if you don't mean it, what's the point? People with vaginas are, I think, more guilty of yeah. this than the guys of like, I demand an apology. No, you're going to apologize and you go, yeah. I'm sorry. Thank you. Like that makes it better. <laughs> like you Thank just, you. you just extracted it from me. It's not, it's not like uh, sincere. sincere. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that as well. It needs to be Silly. sincere, obviously. But, but when if, you're demanding it, right? What if you never mm -hmm. get a sincere apology? Like, what if the person's not sincerely sorry? Then I guess then it's it causes you relationship to go over? more insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if you don't do that, you're going to be sleeping on the couch. Nah, dog. Sleeping on the couch is not a punishment, by this the way. Is, this yeah. is, uh, a reward. this is our bedroom, not her bedroom. This is our bedroom. And if she just, can, she's so angry that she yeah, can't she stand can't sleep with you. to sleep next to me because she's so angry at me, she can go. This is my room. You're the one who's got the issue that you can't sleep. So you can go. Yeah, go you sleep always well, I think couch. it depends on, on what happened. Mm, I don't. If, 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 if the husband did something some sort of action or whatever he did to make her upset, then I think she would be allowed to say, you're not coming in here tonight. No. I think in that case, he would have <laughs> no. to wear it. No. No. Because no. I, I think in that case, Even like, if the guy's 100% at fault. Let's say if he... See, now you're... Ravy, yeah. calm down. You're not listening. <laughs> oh, I'm listening. I'm saying if you did something and you know you were wrong, the right thing to do would be to give her some space and then you can voluntarily, but like this whole thing of like, well, you're not sleeping in here tonight. Well, yes, well that's, not, that's, that's your problem. That's not no. a my problem. Oh, yeah. 
You're on the couch. Give me my space. You go on the couch. I will be in here. It is called the master there. bedroom. What he's saying is not your Don't, space. Do you not realize yeah. that, uh, you know. Yeah, speaking, Woody is all of a sudden the master, the master of the house. Yeah, he's uh, freaking yes. uh, throw it in the gutter and get another. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> same, bro. no, but I, yeah. we're... we're <laughs> We're doing a lot of joking, but I just, I don't understand the whole <laughs> obligation to tiptoe around another adult when you're an adult. I understand like being afraid of your parents or like, oh my God, mom's going to get really, or dad's going right. to get really pissed. Yeah. But like when you were two adults, why is one person for whatever, tiptoeing around the other? I hate it. I hate that idea. Well, right. I think say, I'm sorry. Say, you're sorry again. Well, it depends on the, on what's happening. Right. Happy wife, mm-hmm. happy life. Shut up. <laughs> Why well, live so, alone? Yeah, well, right. Well, Sandy's yeah. whole premise was, well, what if if your guy was wrong? But, that, but what he's saying is sometimes women are irrational and they don't know they're wrong. Uh, not sometimes, well, all the time. I think we could oh, also be. It depends on if it's a repetitive <laughs> behavior, if it's a one-time thing. I mean, there there's so many different scenarios yeah. that we could so, be talking about. Right yeah. Like over talking over and over again. But <laughs> if you already had the. But discussion. if you're the one who's got the issue that you're so mad, you go stay in the other room. Like, why are you banishing another adult to another place because you can't stand to be around them? Eh, it seems all childish. Like, well, they go, like you walk. So, it's like just the whole thing. Like, you walk away. Old timeiness. Yeah. yeah. You know. Like yeah. The so wife dumb. always. Oh, you're gonna be in the doghouse. The couch. Oh, oh, oh. Like, stop it. Right, That's you know. so silly. I hate it. Eight seven seven forty four Woody. Text over to two two nine seven. We'll get into the conspiracy theory stuff. Oh yeah. Again, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but... But the earth is flat. Which conspiracy theory do you secretly believe? <laughs> no secret. <laughs> well, people... There's, there are some that are... Embarrassing. Embarrassing. The, oh. the flat earth thing. That's, embarrassing. Yeah. That's yeah. super embarrassing. So embarrassing. How is that even a thing? Because <laughs> people thing. are dumb. People are oh, I know it is. It. I just yeah. don't get how. Can yeah. I talk about one that I was talking off air with Ravy about? Yeah, let's talk recently? about that one because that... I've looked into it more, and this is the one I kind of believe. I See, that's what I was. Yeah, <laughs> I was telling you it is real. I mean, there's it? a ton of news reports. Uh, so cloud seeding. I'm sure, Seabass, you can jump in. It, it's a it's a thing. It's, it's been, been a thing well, for it, quite a long time. It's been proposed and tested for decades. Yes. Yeah, and Dubai is like really into it, and well, apparently it worked really well. They just flooded. It's well, so. they <laughs> well, Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Yeah, they think that Dubai was actually. Uh, cloud seeding, but then they act, they had actual rain, so that caused way too much, and then that's all the flooding that was going on. But the conspiracy theory people think that the weather is controlled with this cloud seeding when it comes to when voting needs to happen because they oh. cause rain Space and, it makes, people and it makes people voting. not want to go yeah. outside and go vote. So like I heard, <laughs> I was talking to Menace yeah. about this because I hear George Nori every day. And who does this? Like, uh, that's all like conspiracies it's and all aliens, conspiracy and that coast to coast AM yeah. show, right. it's a radio yeah. show, yeah. And so, there's somebody on there promoting this documentary that you can watch, just Google it Frankenskies. And <laughs> Frankenskies <laughs> basically says that uh, countries have been trying to control the weather since the 20s, well, they've been trying, and that like oh, yeah. Lyndon B. Johnson was a big advocate for it. And said, you control the weather, you control the world. Wow. So I started watching Frankenskies. <laughs> I'm like, everything in Frankenskies, I'm like, whoa, what? this is crazy. Yet, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, what's that guy that got sued um, by Alex um, Jones? Alex Jones. He used oh, to say, right. Weather weapons. Weather weapons. Oh, weather weapons. weapons. Yeah. We weather need a new weapon. term for documentary that when it's like. Oh yeah, crap. That's true. <laughs> like document. That like, is true. Because a documentary means you're documenting the world when you're making stuff up and you have and an agenda and or control the weather, control the world. Yeah. Somebody says here most computer viruses in the 2000s were created by software companies selling antivirus programs. Um, <sighs> okay. Believable. That does sound believable. Kind of like when Apple, your phone is almost two years old. Right. And it starts yeah. crapping out. All of out. a sudden, it won't charge. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, this, they, very weird. Apple being Apple. Well, they, they figured that <laughs> out, right? Well, that was actually happening. Yeah. But the reason why it would be allowed to happen and perhaps designed to happen. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the U.S. and probably others, intelligence services, push conspiracy theories to hide their own dealings among the dreck. What does that mean? So, in other words, like, um, there are some truth stuff out there 
And when people are starting to pick up on that stuff more, like the government will introduce some other new conspiracy theory or, yeah. or or feed something. Like remember the yeah. government was coming out talking about alien stuff, yeah, like oh, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. A- alien files and things. Like but they'll do something else to take over the news. Right. right. Yeah. Right. Uh, recycling is a scam, at least in the U.S. <laughs> the U.S. is incapable of handling right. recycling. That. This one says uh, most of our recyclables used go to China, and now they just go to landfills. Most of the recycling propaganda you see today is actually paid for by the biggest plastic pro- uh, producers. Mm. Believe that all day. Uh, the government mm. asks this question often to see what they need to cover up more and more and which conspiracies <laughs> we've forgotten about. It's a conspiracy theory about asking about conspiracy theories. So, so which ones do you believe in? Because yeah. we want to cover that one up extra hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah the government is paying us right now. <laughs> but when it comes to the what? recycling thing, I think we all agree that nobody cares. We point out daily when we get snacks and whatnot, you have a plastic fork wrapped in plastic yep. in a plastic bag. Yeah. You have soda bottles all in plastic. When men and I were just looking plastic. at old timey photos of grocery stores, everything was glass. glass. That was recycled. Yeah, yeah that was and more, reused. You yeah, brought more them back. back yeah, then, right? the we were, thing. We were greener 40 years ago yeah. than we are today. I don't think that's an active, there's, there's a certain type of thing that is not an active conspiracy. It's just a, it's a, it's inertia. It's we've got right. these trucks that we paid for because we got government money for it. And this is going to sound conspiratorial because I just mentioned mm. the government. But like, well, we pay for recycling. You want to like when you mentioned in San Francisco, they have 15 different bins for everything. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I want to look good. Because yeah. you want to sound good, look good. Right. So and then but it's you're people not, feel but, better. But and there's all these jobs. With, and every, now we have thousands of jobs right. that depend on this. It's, so it's a whole industry. It's not a conspiracy. Yeah. It's just a well. I guess we're doing this now. Exactly. Yeah. Too deep in. Yeah. Uh, Greg, what's yours? Um. Menace got me kind of. Why does it all go back to Menace? Because he's the big conspiracy theory guy. This is the whole thing. Because he's he's poisoning poisoning everybody. No, I share discussions. And and when I say kind of, I mean on a scale of one to a hundred, like three. Okay. See, this is the when I I went from zero to three (laughs) about not believing the moon landing. (laughs) But Uh again, like a three out of a (laughs) hundred. Yeah. I still believe it. We have a slight doubt. But I have a slight doubt only because I'm a victim of the internet, and I saw a video (laughs) recently where they had the internet victim where they had the uh, astronauts quote in space, Mm -hmm. and like certain things in the background didn't seem correct. Like you would see something Didn't fall. Match up. Yeah. Like, oh wait, you had zero gravity, but now you just dropped something and it fell to the floor. <laughs> and then you know, weird blurring that looks like they're trying to hide something. Well, no. Uh, how about the video just being super good versus today? Well, it's shot the on quality a film camera, is right? like right, way different. And then somebody made the point too: <laughs> the first guy that jumps down the stairs, who's filming that? Like, I mean, I'm sure there's yeah. An did they have like a camera set up? Like, I'm so, sure there's. Well, it, was, an it was from the. Uh, it was from the surface, no? The camera pointing back at the the lander, right? At the right, lander, right. yeah. Like when he's jumping down the stairs. Well, like, see, but did they not send anything to the moon before we went there with people? I they sent a camera know. set up? <laughs> yeah, know. not to set up a camera. Well, see, the, the, they sent an engineer to set up all the audio. A lot of AV. these questions are, are good ones. They're very common, but like the yeah. slightest bit of research into it, you're like, oh, okay. That right. explains yeah. it. Right. Yeah, I mean, so that's why I'm a three out of 100. Yeah. Menace, which one do you believe the most? The, of all the uh, crazy uh, stuff they the, talk about. Definitely the Kennedy assassination. For out of sure. all of them. Out of all of them? Yeah. 100%. That it was not a wet, lone wacko. He was a lone guy. He was hired by just, somebody. Yeah. That just happened to get the perfect shots in. And he just, yeah, there was multiple people involved in that thing. There was one that was floating around about how, you know, they have the Secret Service guys in the car behind them. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And so when the first shot goes off, the, one of the Secret Service guys in the car behind him goes to grab, like, like startled, grabs mm-hmm. the his weapon and that accidentally, quote-unquote, fired. And that's the one that hit him uh, from the other side. And mm-hmm. the Secret Service doesn't want to be known as the one killing the president. Uh-huh. And so that got covered up. I heard. I, I don't necessarily believe that. That's uh, that's one of the newest. Just another one. That's one of the newest there. ones that I've heard because you've yeah. heard about the grassy knoll. You've heard about. Yeah. So was it? Yeah. So what was it? Was it the CIA menace? Was it the mob? Those are all the uh, people yeah. who have been blamed. Uh, out of Cubans. all the things I ever heard, they say it's the CIA because Kennedy wanted to get out of Vietnam. Or what was it? Or he was like, yeah, he was beefing with them over something. Uh, Cuban I, missile crisis. No, all that no, going on. it was uh, some other hmm. other beef of like uh, promoting and. 
uh, like defunding people and stuff like that. Okay, Sammy, which one do you believe the most? The most, this one I don't even really count as a conspiracy theory, but that Epstein was murdered. I mean, he was for sure murdered. Yeah. In I my mind. I don't yeah. even consider that a conspiracy theory. <laughs> I, don't I think, think it's anybody fact. Thinks he <laughs> wasn't everybody murdered. believes that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my other one is I do. My conspiracy, I think OJ did it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you really did it. Uh, Edgy. I do think the <laughs> Illuminati is real. Mm. That there's a select few people who are controlling the media and the world, essentially. Uh, that all get together and have so their to, secret. But meetings. are they controlling to the me, weather? But to, to what me. degree? <laughs> to what degree? Um, uh, for financial benefit. Right. Exactly. It's very but how rich much, people. What they, but what are they controlling specifically? So you can say that to do what? I think they're. What are they accomplishing? I think they're control. I, I mean, to have power, like they're kind of the puppeteers of the world, and nobody knows it, if you will. So they're controlling the media, but politics and other things. By pushing agendas, but like in a secret way where you but don't know. I've me, seen that movie many times. To me, the Illuminati idea, it's not a secret. We know that. Like we're out here at Illuminati. Yeah, we know that there's the yeah. rich and the powerful. There are billionaires that own news networks. There are yeah. billionaire entertainers that influence how we f dress, how we think, how we vote. Right. It, it, nothing about it is hidden. Well, other than the fact that not, uh, but she's saying the fact that they're all in uh, cahoots. Right, she's saying they're, they're all collectively meetings. together. Yeah, right. they're, they're, they talk to each other. Okay, that part might things. be secretive. They're but I, but I think robes. if, yeah. if yeah. you believe in what, <laughs> we, what we think of the Illuminati, it's yeah. right in front of our face. Because uh, I believe right. they have individual agendas, but yeah. do they talk to each other about what they want to do? What's happening at P. Diddy's uh, party? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a couple texts here. Allison says uh, that we can cure a lot of diseases, but the drug companies don't want to because that is popular. people who are sick Big is yeah. That's a popular one, but it's so easily debunked because right. how would rich people die of cancer and all the... How did Steve Jobs right. get the lymphoma yeah. and leukemia? Right. Yeah. How, how, if, you, if you find any pharmaceutical company's family member who died of a disease that they could cure, right. then yeah. you're saying that they're they would have monsters. It. Right. That and they want to make a couple extra bucks so it, their, their family dies. And what if you're the one guy that did cure cancer? You don't want to take that honor? Well, this is the whole thing with the alien thing. Like, if there's you, Somebody would want to be the one who found it. Right. You right. would want to be the guy. You would want the Nobel Prize. Yeah, I don't believe that cancer. Yeah, you're stupid person. One second. This is, I believe they know where the Malaysia Airlines flight is. Uh, on the bottom uh, of the ocean. <laughs> uh, we all do. Why haven't they yeah. found it? We all because know. the ocean's huge. Oh. <laughs> Forever to find Titanic. Yeah. The ocean is mad big. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but Disney definitely created the movie Frozen to distract search algorithms from Walt's frozen body. Oh my God. <laughs> There's some Walt's frozen yeah. underneath yeah. the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> there Everybody knows it. Similar with that with Taylor Swift and involving jets, like the same type of theory. Like there's something else that was she released. created a jet song. No, that there was something that was done. So when you Google it, another thing would pop up. Oh, for mm -hmm. people who want to find where her jet is. Yeah, no, um, for like how much she uses it and stuff. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but the Hawaii fire was an inside job. And of course, you got. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but 9/11 was an inside job. The Hawaii fire is interesting. Like, what, what's the benefit of that? I mean, why would somebody? Well, because weren't do they that? trying to? Well, the, the the conspiracy theory is like is that they were trying to. Have people who are like native to the to the land to the area. Before it, 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 it would open up. It would open up real estate basically, so that yeah. the rich people can come in and uh, put in resources. But the area them. that was burned was like the rich touristy area, right? It, was. it wasn't like just some off, you know, some land way that hell away from everything. Oh, whoops! Maybe it was supposed to be another area and they screwed up. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. messed See, up. But the wind just, didn't cooperate. <laughs> the lasers <laughs> went the wrong way. Yeah, the la oh, that's, that's right. my other favorite yeah, one. Lasers. lasers. Yeah, space Jew lasers. That's, yeah. It's lasers that are starting forest fires right. and lasers that started the Hawaii thing. But something Seabass brought up a long time ago. Thank you. All the biggies, Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, et cetera, et cetera, aliens. Aliens. Not one since the dawn of man has been proven. Not one. And by proof, I mean physical, actual evidence that, right. that people, that other people can come and look at and verify. Where a Bigfoot right. walks like in the door. Like you could say, oh, I looked at this ancient hieroglyphic and it looks like somebody in it is in a spaceship. Okay, great. Maybe that was their art. It, it's just <laughs> right. a coincidence. But see, a lot Not of people will point to these documentary proved. Loose Change, or the one that Ravy mentioned of it. Like, Frank the, it's guys. The, 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 the proof... <laughs> The evidence, the proof is in there, but people choose to ignore it and write it but off as a conspiracy. But none of that is proof. We, we have proven it, but people just write it no. off as a conspiracy. It's not proof. That's not, but so that's what, what the people but, say. But they don't know what proof means. Right. They don't know, <laughs> they know what, what evidence is. Yeah. Right. I Look, I agree with you, but that's because I've, I've brought that up before. Like, well, well then why is it that, right. know, well, no, it's right there. People just choose to ignore right. it. Right, Bigfoot. Not, right in front of your face, you just choose to ignore it. it. All right, so I was able to remember... 
what I was going to contribute. So I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but after a conversation last week, I could see where it's possible that it was the government who created and leaked AIDS. By accident oh, or on purpose? Oh, that's we're what we were purpose, talking about. Right? We were talking about that? Yeah. Because what's-his-name was on the podcast saying that. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. I, that's... Thank you. I couldn't remember what the origin of the conversation was. But that's... Yeah. I can't... I could see that. Yeah. I mean, look at the uh, the COVID thing. Certainly, at this That's point, we know it was, was tying it all together. Certainly, we know that was created in a lab. That's what it was. I'm not. I'm not saying they meant for it to get out or whatever. But when you when you mess with such things, they will get out. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not saying there was a reason that they, uh, you know, created yeah. AIDS, or yeah. even knew what they were doing. But I believe that <laughs> way more than I believe some guy, you know, got in a rowboat from Africa and banged a monkey. Well, it's not that he mm-hmm. banged. I mean, it's oh, whatever. Funny. But you know, but they I mean. would eat bush meat the same way. That's how we get Ebola. Yeah. People go out there and eat sure. monkeys in the yeah. in the bush. And yeah. What about the uh, the NFL script? Oh, there's Arkansas. times oh, I believe. I that. absolutely believe that. Many times. A I lot of times. Oh yeah, dog. That. Yep. Uh, follow up. Uh, let's see here. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but Earth is intergalactic. An uh, intergalactic cattle farm. Our mass extinction event hasn't happened yet because the human population hasn't reached peak yield. But we're ah. not an ideal thing to eat. Yeah, you, we have ca- we have actual cattle. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that for aliens. Some aliens of us, though, very alien. nicely marbled. Yeah, mm. right. You know? <laughs> we're like walking yeah. ribeyes. Yeah, right. Oh, right. It'd be delicious. Dine on us. <laughs> uh, how about this one uh, from the nine oh nine? One of the conspiracy theories that I actually believe is I think Seabass is actually gay and he's trying to hide it by saying that he slams tens and only wants to have tens when in reality he wants nothing but Greg's life. Look, hmm. I don't say oh. tens. I say eight and above. So. <laughs> Duh. He's just jealous of your life, Greg. Oh, yeah. so much Who to be jealous though? about. Right. Exactly. 